I seen you doing the the pop ups and the meet and greets and all that kind of shit and just having crazy ass lines and stuff. The, the, yeah. the communities behind you, you feel like? Hell yeah, but y'all don't just be yeah, like in Houston for shit show, they fuck with us. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Bum B pulled up, he was like, shit, the persona line looked like Trill Burgers. <laughs> yeah, you know I seen what I'm the Bum B came through. That's that's a good show of support. But yeah, but even like at my shows, like I used to sell Maxo Cream merch. Now I'm just like, I'm gonna bring the brand because they be wanting the brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The persona. So shit, I bring that, that shit go crazy, you know? Yeah, I mean, with a brand, like if you're an artist and you create a brand, in theory, you know, you could get to the point where people don't necessarily want to wear your merch, but they're open minded to the brand itself. So it's definitely right, a, right, right. a longer shelf life on that kind of thing. Um, okay, but so you you play Camp Flogna this year. Uh, where did that relationship with Tyler come from in the first place? How'd you guys actually become cool? Uh, I was at Yams Day. Performing, I ran into that nigga on um, Tyler. We was in Rocky um, dressing room and shit. He just cracking jokes on everybody. I'm laughing. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Cracking gay jokes at Rocky, Rocky. Yo, Tyler, shut up. I'm trying to show them. Ooh. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. They get into I'm laughing. And then, like, I'm walking out. And then, you know what I'm saying? We start chopping it up. And he said, he told me that when he heard my album, he was with Rick Rubin in London. Uh -huh. and, and he played it for him. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So I'm like, all right, bet. So let's link up. You know what I'm saying? We'll get some music in. Then I came to LA. We linked up. And then, bro, we got so much shit. Really? Hell yeah. I, like, it's a lot of shit that, like, we damn near got a tape. But I ain't going to just drop it as a tape. You know, he an artist, I'm an artist. So we got to sit down, pick everything through. But hell yeah, it's, we got tracks together, tracks that he just produced and I rapped on, a lot of them. So you guys just met and became, like, friends real fast? He was cool. Yeah, plus I ain't gonna lie, I was a fan of Tyler before. I like, remember how I told you I was smoking out the bong and shit? Right. So, I ain't gonna say how we got it. Just know that I just got a MacBook. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, shit. Stole a MacBook? I ain't never say no you shit. Found like a MacBook? Okay. Nah, somebody just gave it to me. Okay. They damn near just gave it to me. Well, when you're a rapper, people just bring you gifts. Right? Hell yeah. yeah. I don't know what it was. He, he, he gave me a laptop and some more shit. Okay. But I'm on the laptop, you feel me? I right, like, bro, let me see what the hell this damn. All our future shit is. I started jamming that shit. I'm like, what the hell wrong with this man? I'm listening to the, you know what I'm saying? But then I like I started jamming him and Earl, like they were playing shit. I felt like it was a lot of like inspired by like clips, big L, yeah. Nas, shit like that. Just diving into music. You know what I'm saying? So I've been with Tyler for a minute. Right. On the music side, like, you know. So when you guys start hanging out, like, what kind of conversations are you having? Because it's just kind of hard for me to imagine, like, you guys just meeting and, and having that connection. But it's kind of right. fascinating that it worked like this. Nah, it's like, shit, every time with Tyler, we be in the studio or something, kicking it. That nigga be flexing. Y'all don't know. Like, that's why the big persona shit came. You watch the video. Uh -huh. He's showing custom being baller pieces, blue diamonds, Louis trunks. And then we got this shit. This back when I was signing RCA. I'm, I'm independent now. But, like, nigga, we got this shit cleared. Right. Like, like the whole Louis Vuitton shit. Like, niggas don't get that shit cleared. I think Virgil cleared that shit before he died. You feel me? But, hell yeah, like, that nigga be showing me, like, archive shit. Nigga, blue diamonds, different diamonds and shit. Putting nigga on, like, some etiquette, different type of shit. So, he just has, like, insane amounts of drip and diamonds and shit. That's crazy hell because yeah. I feel like the, the average person or the average rapper who has that access to that kind of shit would be putting it all over social media. And, and he just doesn't really. He's very, very tasteful I feel like when you it. really... Man, when you really like that, you really rich. You don't give a about that shit. Right. But, like, for certain artists, you know what I'm saying? When you buy the chain, you buy the watch and shit, you start popping that shit to, like, for their fan base, they like that shit. But when you got fans like us, the no white kids don't care about Maxo Cream and no chains and shit. They want to see me jump up and down on stage, marsh pit with mm. my shirt off. Really? That's it. That's what your audience wants from you at this point? Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> they don't give a damn about that shit. That's how I know I'm not really rich because the only reason I can imagine ever spending a bunch of money on on clothes or on diamonds or whatever is just to flex it on social media bro you rich what the hell are you talking about yeah but i'm still like so cheap in my brain that hold on you got only fans and you got this shit yeah i got a few you're things. rich go buy something nigga. <laughs> hell wrong with you in my mind i'm plotting to make a grand exit at some Man, point i never seen a motherfucking um i never seen a bank chase a hearse you could put up some she gets some investments mm. but nigga live your life Ah, but there's there's gonna be a day where I just vanish from the public eye, and I just take off, and I'm just like hanging out on a beach. And people who live on that beach are gonna be like, "Damn, that's crazy." That Adam Twenty Two just lives on this beach now, and I'm gonna just be gone. Not so get your Tupac on. Not grinding YouTube content. No, Tupac is dead. <laughs> but, but that <laughs> sort of thing, like yeah, no, that would be good though if I made it a secret. Nah, thanks. If nobody knew, and I 
and was able to just like pull the wool over everybody's eyes. That, that's, that's a great idea right there. So, okay. Um, there's, there's a lot of different ways we could go with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to finish on the Tyler thing. What's up? You mentioned making gay jokes around him. Now, I don't know if he's ever even spoken on it. But Hold on. You said I mentioned making gay jokes. Oh, no. Rocky or, was making gay jokes. No, he making gay jokes towards Rocky. Oh. Rocky was getting on his ass. Oh, okay. You think Tyler actually dated Jaden Smith? Or was Jaden Smith trolling when he said that? I don't know, bro. I was just with Jaden yesterday. Really? Hell yeah. With Tyler? At the... We was at the carnival. I seen him walking with a girl. These niggas be with girls, bro. I don't know what y'all be like. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're like, like gay for clout, and then they have sex with women on the in the back end? I don't know if they gay like that, bro. <laughs> I don't know how gay them niggas is, bro. They don't play with me like that. I ain't gonna lie. Try to be making gay jokes. They don't give a Right. But, like, Jaden, like, shit, he be on more, like, he respect the art, the craft type shit. Like, I let people be who the they want to be whatever GPS they own to get to their ending point. Right. Let them do them. Yeah, but see, I feel like that's just a survival mechanism for you because you are like a mega street dude who knows how to play white people games. Right. Right? Like, you know that. That's, that's like this, the key to his success is so. that white people love a black dude who actually is like smart and, and will actually like kind of like – fit in with them to the extent that they can enjoy his presence but then at the same time they realize like oh no nah, he's like a real gangster ass dude from texas like i feel like you that's like a big key to like why you've been able to be around so long is that you're able to play that game nah for sure so hit the bomb <laughs> <laughs> but look, I do this too, though. If I hit that, then the rest of this interview gonna is going to be slow motion. I mean, I'm kind of down. <laughs> we got to hit this Texas cheese. Let them know. Yeah. Nah, for shit show. Wait. Is this, is this still a hit left? Yeah, yeah, that's still a hit. This is still a hit left? Okay. Ah, all right. Adam hitting the Maxo bomb. I don't know, like, how much of this <laughs> shit I'm going to be able to do here. What do I, I put my whole finger over what hole? Is there a hole? There ain't no nah, hole. Ain't no, it's a oh, ball. Oh, yeah, the hole's old. I should have brought, man, I should have brought one of the real huh? ones. Got it, yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't want it no more. You breathing on it like that. <laughs> now let it rip, man. Oh what you God. be doing at home? <laughs> I can immediately <laughs> tell. Ass, so I, <laughs> Dude, I breathed on it too much. <laughs> nah, your ass deep right head on my ball. I, I don't want this. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> nah, but. <laughs> can we get some, some light, Lysol wipes or some shit? Because he wasn't feeling the way I breathed on <laughs> No, fine, kill it. You know what I'm saying? If you ever want something dead, just put the flame to their ass. Oh, man. Nah, back See, to I, I love interviewing people that I interviewed like mad times and known for mad years because like I had Sada Baby in here too and I was right. just, I was able to be my true goofy ass self. 